Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're having a look at finding and replacing colors in Illustrator. Now this was prompted by somebody else who had a video on finding and replacing colors and I was looking at it and thinking hmm there's a way that we can do that even more easily. So let's have a look and see how we can find and replace colors in this particular image. Now firstly I want to select objects that are similar in color. So I'm looking at this sort of object here and I want to select everything that's similar. Now if I select it I can use select and then same and I can choose appearance and that will select everything that has the same appearance to this one. But if you have a look at this one here this is really similar in appearance but it's similar but not the same. And the reason why I know it's not the same is that it would be selected if we asked to select everything similar to this if it was the same, which means it's close but not exactly the same. So is there a way that we can actually select all of these objects like this one and this one which is close but not exact? Well the answer to that is of course yes. And the way we're going to do that is with the magic wand tool. So I'm going to click here on the magic wand tool to target it and then I'm going to double click it because I want to make some selections before I do this. What we're going to do is I'm not sure whether the fill color or the stroke color is different between these two or whether both are. So we're going to select by fill and by stroke. So I'm going to click here on fill and stroke. And the tolerance value says to Illustrator is if I select this particular object you can also select objects that have a similar fill color but are slightly varied to that. Now there's the tolerance value and that can vary between 0 and 255. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to select fairly close. So I'm thinking something like 11 as a tolerance. So that'll be close to the same fill color but not really, really different. And let's set this to 10 or 11. Now when I click on one of these shapes, you can see that this other one has been selected. It's close to this one in terms of color, but it's not identical. We don't know whether that's the fill or the stroke that's not identical or whether they're both, it doesn't really matter. So now I can change the colors of these to bring them so that they're identical. And to do this with the object selected, I'm going up here to the recolor artwork tool. Now now this has changed in the most recent version of Illustrator and what you want to do is go down here to advanced options because it just makes life a whole lot easier. And so this is the dialogue that we've got and this is answering our question is what was dissimilar? Well the fills on these objects are all identical but the strokes are not. There are two values here for strokes and they're not identical. Now this is where I totally disagree with this other video that is on find and replace colors in Illustrator because what they would have you do is to sample whatever color this was and make this color here the exact same one. Well you don't have to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to put these two colors into the same bar. So we're going to pick up this one and drop it into this one. And we're going to get here an option which says that these two colors are going to be replaced in terms of their lightness or darkness. But we don't want that. We want them to be an exact replacement. So I'm going to click here on this drop down list. And instead of scaling the tint, so we're getting the same color but different tints according to whether it was light or dark and to begin with, what we're going to do is choose exact. And so now when I click OK, we've got these shapes that are now the exact same color. And we can test that because we know that the select option is only going to select these same objects if they're exactly the same. We use the magic wand if they're not exactly the same. Let's go to select, same and appearance. And this time these two objects are being selected. They are now the exact same color, both fill and stroke. So let's revisit that recolor artwork dialog. I'm just going to press Control or Command A to select every object here. And I'm going here to the recolor artwork dialog. Again, open the advanced options. So what we're seeing here are the colors that are actually in this image. So these are the ones that are in use. You can see that we've still got some colors that are not quite the same, but they're going to be in use in different areas of the image. If you're curious where, we can click here on this icon and then click here. And that shows us where this color is in use. It's in use as a fill color for some shapes. If we click on this one here, you can see it's in use as a stroke color. So you can investigate your image by clicking on these colors, obviously with this icon here selected, and see where those colors are actually in use in your image. 
I'm going to click back on here so that we can go back to viewing the dialogue as it was. So we already know that these are the colors in the image and this is how they're mapped at the moment and by default they're mapped onto themselves. That makes really good sense. None of these colors are being changed unless we ask for them to be changed. If we want to make these two colors the exact same color, we know what to do. We're going to drag one and drop it onto the other and they're both going to become this color. We're going to the fly out menu. We're going to make sure that this is set to exact because we want the colors to be exact and we'll just click away. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five colors in our image. And if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that you can also obviously recolor all of these objects. But the easiest way to do that is to go to the edit dialog because here you get little color pickers for every single one of the colors in the image. Now at the moment, these are locked. So I'm going to click here to unlock them, which means that I can change one of these colors. Now while this color is in the group of colors in the image, it no longer is being used to color anything. So it's going to have no effect on the image. The other colors of course do. So now we can drag these colors around and find different spots for them. If you lock the colors by clicking on this icon so that they're locked, when you drag them around, the colors stay in the same spatial relationship to each other. So you can see that they've still got this relationship. We're just taking them to different areas of the color wheel. And so you might find a better place for those colors in the image. If you do, you can just click OK. If you don't, you can click Cancel and you'll just go back to the image as it was before we started working in this dialog. So I hope that that has helped you understand a little bit more about finding and replacing colors in an image in Illustrator and in particular how easy it is to turn one color into another by just dragging and dropping it in that recolor artwork dialog. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.